My name is Sarah Lester, and I am the director of Cornerstone West Community Development Corporation. And as many of you know, Cornerstone West CDC serves as the backbone organization for West Side Grows Together, a neighborhood revitalization effort and coalition of 27 community organizations, churches, business owners, and residents, all working together to improve the quality of life on the West Side. And on behalf of Cornerstone West CDC and West Side Grows Together, we would like to welcome you to the groundbreaking for Connell Street and 4th and Rodney Street Parks. It is an understatement to say that we are extremely excited. So thank you for coming. I want to share with you a bit about the work that we went that went into these reno renovations and thank the multitude of important collaborators, partners, and funders. Approximately six years ago, during the development of West Side Grows Together and the West Side Revitalization Plan, residents identified park improvements as one of the highest priorities for improving their neighborhoods. Since then, West Side Grows Together has worked to build a powerful movement to take back West Side's parks. The movement consists of three core strategies, promoting stewardship via the volunteer Friends of Parks groups, spearheaded by my colleague, Yolanda McCoy, activating the parks to increase usage and interest in green and open spaces in the community, and lastly, improving park infrastructure. So the construction equipment here today is a powerful symbol of investment and improvement for the West Side and the City of Wilmington that totals approximately $1.2 million. Not only will these renovations provide an example of, of a lasting and positive impact along the 4th Street corridor for the community, these parks will also create a safe and fun and healthy place for children to visit and play and improve the overall health of our children by providing equipment to increase physical activity. So now the movement to improve West Side Parks has involved community input every single step of the way, down to each piece of equipment that will be installed. And you can take a look at uh, the renderings over here when you get a chance. Um, and so I would first like to acknowledge any Friends of Parks members who are here in the crowd today. Uh, your stewardship, engagement, and planning are the foundation of this project. So are there any Friends of Parks members in the crowd? Raise your hands. And And uh, second, I am, I am one of the newest members of the West Side Grows Together team. And when I joined the team about a year ago, it was obvious that an immense amount of blood, sweat, and tears, literally, had been poured into these parks by my tireless and persistent coworkers. Uh, especially, I want to point out Yolanda McCoy again, uh, whose leadership brought this project from idea to implementation. And, as, and so all of the West Side Grows Together team, if you want to wave your hands also for the group, yep. And I just also wanted to acknowledge briefly Christian Willauer, who has, <laughs> she's right here, um, who has recently become the executive director of the Land Bank, but as director of Cornerstone West CD, she, she was an amazing motivator to say the least uh, in getting these projects uh, going. And lastly, uh, the beauty of this investment in our neighborhood parks and open space here on 4th Street and on Connell Street um, is really reflected in the magnitude and the multitude of the collaborators uh, that came together on this table to, to leverage funds, their expertise, and their planning. Um, that all came together in order to get these projects uh, planned and now finally you know, renovated, implemented. So you're about to hear from many of these individuals and or their representatives, but I just want to quickly acknowledge uh, a lot, many of the members and the folks that contributed. So we would like to thank the City of Wilmington Senator Robert Marshall, Representative Helene Keeley, Councilman Robert Williams, who was not able to be here today but was instrumental in getting these parks renovated, Locust Partners, Robinson Anderson Summers uh, Landscape Architects, the Delaware Department of Natural Resources and Environmental Control, the 5th District Neighborhood Planning Council, the 7th District Neighborhood Planning Council, the Nemours Foundation in partnership with the Centers for Disease Control, uh, the Longwood Foundation, and now uh, a new partner is uh, Norman Oliver and president of Rock Solid, the folks who will be uh, doing most of the construction. And so, um, now as I mentioned earlier, this project would not be possible without many of the partners, including the City of Wilmington. So I'd like to introduce to you Mayor Mike Perzicki to say a few words. Gentleman always picks up a lady's phone. <laughs> Good afternoon. I'm so, uh, so happy to be here. Um, 
you know, people are always asking, what are you going to do about our neighborhoods? What are we going to do to fix this and fix that? And the attitude is, we're going to rebuild our communities and we're going to strengthen our neighbors. And this is a great example today of a bunch of people committed to rebuilding our communities. And I couldn't be any happier uh, to be out here as I am today. Our kids need healthy places to play. They need, they need to look at, at things in their community and internalize the idea that somebody cares for them. And when people come out and invest in their communities, I think it's uh, the most important gesture we can, we can make for them. I want to thank uh, two people we're always, we can always count on to help us, Representative Helene Kelly and Senator Bob Marshall. Uh, they're always there. You know, um, the city, of course, has made a contribution significantly to this project, but it wasn't getting off the ground without Bobby and Helene. Um, I'd like to acknowledge Kevin Kelly, our director of parks, who does a great job and who's been supportive of this. And uh, Yolanda, you know, you should be up here with us. I know it's not your district, but uh, come on now. This is uh, mayor's office, council, state agencies working together. Uh, we, have, we have in our office worked with the county executive and the governor more in the last few months, I think, than has been done in history because that's what the public expects of us. And we're so happy to have everybody here. I'm happy to see representatives from WPD here. We are together at the Boys Club this morning. This is an effort of, of all the departments. We're all committed to doing this. And as I said uh, earlier, you know, we can't learn to love each other if we don't know each other. And that's what we're going to spend our time doing. So thank you for having me. It's a wonderful day. And, uh, and uh, I look forward to uh, watching uh, Norman Oliver out here do some <laughs> sweat. <laughs> that's the first time. For everybody who knows Norman, that's the first time I've seen him with a hard hat. <laughs> all right, thank you all. Am I supposed to introduce anybody? Thank you, Mayor. Uh, next, we will have a few words from Council President Hanifa, City Council President Hanifa Shabazz. Hello, everyone. I will ask that uh, Councilwoman Yolanda McCoy come stand with me, please. Um, I, I just would like to <laughs> congratulate her. She is a newer council member, but she came in with both feet running, and it was the effort that she did to work along with Councilman Williams, and that's what council's all about, working as a team to get this project off the ground. I'm so proud of you, and glad to be here to represent City Council, that your idea and your efforts has come to fruition to make sure this area is going to be great for our children to come and play, and our adults and our seniors be able to have a great place to sit down and just enjoy life. So thank you, Councilman McCoy, for your efforts in bringing this um, um, project to fruition. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, and, I, and I'm so glad that the mayor mentioned this as well, but uh, this project would not be possible without the contributions and support of Senator Robert Marshall and Representative Helene Keeley, who were supporters of this project from the beginning, and it has taken years, so we will ask them to say a few words. So first, um, Senator Robert Marshall. Thank you. During our lifetimes, we've probably all had the opportunity to live and enjoy the Wilmington Park system. And what really occurred to me in coming over here today and looking at the faces in the crowd today is that every parent, every family ought to have a photo of this group and the commitment that we've made to the parents and to the children so that they can come out here and enjoy an improved park and enjoy all those kind of activities and festivities that young people that we enjoyed and that they now will have the opportunity to enjoy. We've committed. It's been a great team effort. City, I know we, J Street hasn't been recognized, but from time to time the county will participate and make contributions to projects like it in the end, it's all about teamwork and who benefits the young kids and the young parents who are in this neighborhood. So Christian, Yolanda, everyone here, everyone out there, uh, let's get the word out to the parents. And what I'd like to know, 
I guess Norman Oliver, the uh, CEO of Rock Solid Construction. Are we going to have any basketball activities here? No. <laughs> okay, there'll be no, there'll be no basketball. But when, but when will the ribbon cutting be held? where we can get up and running and let the families and the kids know that the park is here for their use. Norm, do you have, do you have a date when we're going to have it ready to... Um, no passing the buck. It, it'll be a couple of months project, so we'll keep our fingers crossed that by right after the 4th of July, we'll all be back here for the ribbon cutting. Thank you. Yes, thanks. Thanks for that. Um, and yeah, it will be approximately three months project I'm hearing behind me. And just uh, as a reminder, this is a ribbon cutting for both the 4th and Rodney Park as well as Connell Street. So right around the corner, um, there is a tot lot uh, park and it has been part of this entire process as well. So we look forward, you guys shall check out that park and we'll have ribbon cuttings for both parks uh, in, in a few months. So next up, uh, we have Representative Helene Keeley. Well, I don't know what I was thinking this morning when I left the house, but obviously I should have brought a coat with me. Um, <laughs> oh, no, 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 I'm okay. I'm okay, I promise. I can handle it, I promise. I'm good, I'm good. Thank you, thank you. I'm very much a gentleman, but um, I, pretty much everybody covered everything that needed to be said. Just to, honestly, without Christian and Yolanda, I don't know um, if we would really be standing here today. I mean, they're... Their determination to make these parks and the revitalization of these two parks here and, and, and Connell a reality, um, it, I can't thank you enough for having the vision, number one, to, to know that it had to be done and to see um, how this, the revitalization of these two little parks could show such a dramatic improvement for the neighborhoods that they um, are included in. And, I live just up here right off of Union Street and I drive up and down 4th Street on a regular basis and it would tear my heart apart to see children trying to play in this park. They did their best with the activity that they had but when you don't have a swing, when you don't have a little you know, merry-go-round or whatever it's called, it's hard to have a whole lot of fun. But they, they were determined and they did their best. They were trying to find a couple minutes peace to play and just enjoy themselves and be kids. And I understand that the NPCs um, from the city have contributed funds to this and I'm very happy to and thankful that they have because now we can say it's a collaboration of both the city and the state. Uh, I look forward to the day that we will see kids smiling in this park again. It's very much needed. And I also want to thank uh, Norman who I had a conversation with a couple weeks ago when I found out that he was the person who was awarded the contract, and he promised me, I hope he remembers this because I do, he promised me that this was gonna be the best park ever. And I look forward to that day. Um, and thank you all very much for being here. Uh, again, these two parks are needed. Um, I know Bob Williams couldn't be here today, but I, I know um, President Shabazz mentioned that, but I talked to him and he said he was very much wanting to be here, but because of previous obligations, he could not. So, with that, I say let's get on with build, rebuilding this park. Thank you. Thank you, Representative. Uh, I know the anticipation is killing everyone. We just have two more quick speakers. Um, next, I would just want to hear a few words from Kevin Kelly, who's the Director of Parks and Recreation. Kevin? I had a few orders of business from the mayor when I got in about taking care of a few parks and from two counterparts that I've grew up with my whole life, as well as Christian, Yolanda, uh, Vanity, so about this park. What we have to have here is neighborhoods should not define parks. Parks should define neighborhoods. And this park is going to change the view of this neighborhood. We're going to have young people filing in here. It's very busy. I was in here Saturday cleaning up. There was stuff everywhere in this park. We've got to change that. My role is to make sure we have activities in this park. It's a beautiful park. What resources do we bring into this park to help the young people with different things that they may need? And with that, I look forward to a, a, a healthy park here for everybody to enjoy and take place in. Connell Street, 
Father Tucker is next. We still got to hustle a few more dollars for Father Tucker, and we can get the trifecta completed. Thank you. Thank you. So the, uh, these parks projects have been community driven from concept to now implementation. And um, my next speaker really, really embodies all of that uh, and more. Uh, Pastor Lottie Lee, who is the executive director of Be Ready uh, CDC, right across the street in this lovely church, um, and also has been a member of the Friends of Parks group for Fourth and Rodney. And she's going to speak to you all a little bit about uh, this exciting project. Uh, good, good morning. It's just such a great pleasure to be here today to see this. And I have to thank God for, first of all, for allowing this to uh, be a, a very good impact to our community. Um, i also like to take, thank the mayor for coming, uh, city council president, to Kevin Kelly, to uh, Bob, and to Helene, who have always been great friends to us, to the planning councils who stuck there by us. Um, and then I want to thank uh, for Westside Grows Together, who really embodies community coalition, who would empower a community in a small CDC like us and our residents and not let us be forgotten, but allow us to come together and be a voice where we can speak to um, our officials and get things done. So I need to give the coalition who brought us all together to make sure that this would happen a big round of applause. I, I remember the day very clearly when we had our first meeting here and the people of the community came and one of the things they wanted to do because there were so many problems in this park is they wanted to fence the park up. And we said, no, we want the opportunity to plan our park like everyone else. We want the opportunity to uh, say what we want to happen in our community like everyone else. And we brought together our neighbors, we brought together our kids, we got brought together our organizations, and we're here today. And I want to bring the friends and families to come here we have a 60-year a member of our resident, of our community, that's here. And this is why. This is your day, too. I want you to come. I want Aletha to come. I want our, just, this, just right here, I want people, because it's, I'm being the spokesperson for the community. But this is really why we're able to do things like this. And this is why we have to do things like this. And this is just the impetus of the change that's going to happen into our community. And Jay, I want to recognize you as well, because you have been a long voice for our community. And we look at those, the same day we had our first meeting here, we looked at those buildings across the street, seven vacant buildings in a row. And we said to the planning department on that day, we want to see affordable, and market rate housing. We want to see businesses like every other community. So the park is great, <laughs> but we need economic development. We yes. need jobs. Amen. We need good housing. And we're not going to stop here. We're going to continue. And I'm glad to see Norman, a minority contractor here, with people in the community local hire working on this project. And Norman, you did say you're going to do a good job, but we're going to make sure. <laughs> Isn't that right, friends of the park? Yes. Amen. We thank you so much for coming. It's going to be a great day when we open these two parks and our kids can really play again in the parks. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pastor. So that concludes our uh, speakers for this event, and we are now going to move on to the fun part where uh, we will be doing a photo op and a groundbreaking right over here. So thank you all again for coming, and look, and look forward to news about our ribbon cutting and opening celebrations uh, as soon as hopefully July. So thanks again for coming.